approach instead of kind of just picking phrases that I heard here and there. I want to go a little bit deeper about one technique, language technique, that Sally used a lot, which is using an analogy. So an analogy is where you say, all right, I want to say something, but I'm not just going to talk about my subject. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to say some, I'm going to use another thing to stand in for it. So Sally was saying, life is like a nonstop train. So she's going to use train as the vehicle to explain things about her life. The train is the analogy for her life. And when you use this technique, you can do amazing things and you can create incredible, interesting moments and handle difficult challenges in your speech. Like I said, it's very hard to talk about a spiritual journey. It's very hard to talk directly about it. But using an analogy of like a train journey on a train, people can understand it and it feels more smooth. And then you can, she used that as an overall analogy for the whole speech, and then there were little analogies within. So for example, she had stations in life. And so when you hear that, you go, oh yeah, yeah, like a train station, you pull up and it's a place and a time that you arrived at, and then you left. And so we all have stations in our lives. And it really helps to kind of think about the subject of her speech. And the analogies can also make points much more powerful. Like if, if I want to talk about Yaslin, and I want to emphasize that she's very quiet when she enters the room and I didn't know she was here, I could just say, oh, and then I met Yaslin, who came in very quietly. But if I want to strengthen it with an analogy, I just think of what is something that's incredibly quiet? Oh, uh, a ninja. Like a ninja, Yaslin crept into the room and I never heard her. So it just, it adds a depth. Um, you can also use analogies to make things more clear. Like, for example, when Patty is talking about advanced care and an advanced plan, and some of us might be there going, what, what exactly is that? I'm not sure. But you can say, oh, and then I set, you know, like an instruction book to your doctors, your advanced plan tells them what to do. And so, oh, we all know what is an instruction book for like putting together a television stand. And oh, that analogy could help us. Oh, it's like an instruction book on what the doctor should do if I'm in this search situation. Um, Sally used an analogy really, really well in a clever way when she talked about the church. So she said, like an organic farm where things are a bit too natural. So an organic farm is her analogy to say something about the church. Now why do this? It's really effective. She's kind of mildly criticizing. It. It's a little too natural. Maybe people are too emotional or you know something like that. She, she doesn't want to say exactly, but she gives us the feeling using the analogy. Because when you think of an organic farm, oh, what is that? Oh, natural smells like, you know, farm or like, I, like it's, there's something, it kind of gives up that image. Um, it also can, it also can communicate things strongly, like making people think. She gave the lesson, on your train of life, what view do you see? So when we hear that, we think of it now, we think about a train, and we're looking out, and we've all gone by train, by beautiful mountains, beautiful oceans, we've met interesting people on it, and it's like, oh yeah, I should put my life in places that are beautiful. I should put my life next to beautiful people. I should put my life with good things. 
It's using that train analogy to make that same point. Um, so again, I, there's a lot of things that you can do with analogies. You can say things in a much stronger way. You know, so if Paul's speech, speech is powerful, it's like a herd of bulls, his words charged into the room. It's much more strongly than Paul was really powerful in his speech. So I encourage everybody, use analogies to spice up those speeches. Back to Maggie. 